is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirt, different type of shirts and logo that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis. I'm going to check out the video. Hey guys, I'm back with another video. We're going to talk about Robin Lopez and George Hill being acquired by the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, these are two quality veterans that know how to win, has been in games, and... They're already had George Hill. He had a good run for them. He fit better with the team than Eric Blesso because he has the ability to play defense but also shoot. Um, and he is a guy that has went to the finals and played in big games. And he has played for even teams like Indiana who went to two Eastern Conference finals with him as the starting point guard on that team. So he knows what it takes. I feel like George Hill's biggest thing is just that he, 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 he had a lot of injuries um, a lot of petty injuries and a lot of injuries that kept him out. I think that's been one of his biggest flaws. But when you look at this contract, they only giving him a three-year, $29 million deal. That's not bad. That's not an overpay. Plus, they was paying him way more than that last year. And now they got him on a respectable deal. Plus, now they have a backup point guard and a guy that can also play a little bit of two, depending on what lineup out there and what personnel you have out there. Um, he can also give you some some two minutes, and we done seen that. Um, and it gives them ability to go small if they really choose to, depending on the lineups and who you want to play as center, because Giannis can play that and guard that position too. So the Bucks, um, they lose Malcolm Brogdon, but they get Brooke Lopez back. They bring back Middleton. They bring back Hill on an affordable deal. They get a solid starting caliber center. And Robin Lopez, that gives them something different than Brooke Lopez. It gives them an inside presence. It gives them a chance to be able to go big because we don't know what's going to happen with Paul Gasol. Um, and that gives them a lot more versatility. They usually use DJ Wilson because he's a stretch big, but he also plays a little bit of inside. But now with Giannis and, and Robin Lopez, it gives them somebody that – Really can finish around that basket, rebound for him, bang for him, set screens, do all the little annoying, petty things that help you win games, especially in playoff games where the little things can help you get a possession, can get you a rebound, can get you an open shot, and that can be a difference in the series, as we've seen with the Raptors, as we've seen um, even in the finals. So you do need those guys that go in there and do what you ask them to do. They don't complain. They don't get mad. They don't have an ego. They just do what the team needs them to do, do what the lineup entails them to do, and follow the coach instructions. You know, Robin Lopez is a, is a quality big. It's not like they're just getting somebody that's trash or getting somebody that's garbage. He's an NBA player. He can play. He has legitimate size. He has legitimate touch. And he can even hit mid-ranges. He can even post up a little bit. So... That give them something that they didn't really have outside of Brooke Lopez last year at that five position. And even if Brooke Lopez get injured, you still got a guy that's serviceable and can still do and give you a different outlook and a different way to play that you didn't have available to you last year because Paul Gasol did get injured. And Thon McCarr was basically Brooke Lopez, just a worse version. So now you got something different, and now you got a guy that's grindy, tough, and, and won't back down. So... I like this acquisition. We obviously know that George Hill was huge for them in the playoffs. And now you get him back to a longer term commitment. He's on a tradable contract. If it doesn't work out and he does give you depth at that point guard position and also give you a guy that can possibly pay defense. And when you look at this roster up and down currently, they don't really have enough point guards that you can really rely on. Can you rely on Trayvon Duval? Can you rely on Tim Frazier, especially in a playoff game? No. So it is important that they locked up George Hill. Um, for that position because he's already a part of the culture. He already knows what they're about. They already know how he is. They know how he works. They know what he can do because he's already been on his roster and they already made a deep playoff run with him. So they know what he brings to the table and they know what he can bring for this team and they already have the chemistry already built. So it does make sense to lock him up um, for the amount of dollars that they did and for the years that they did. And if worse come, push, come to shove, He's still on a contract that most teams would take. And 
I, he's been bouncing around the league, so a lot of teams are still interested in him, and teams don't mind having him on there because they know he's going to come in and do what he's supposed to do, and they know he can be reliable and dependable. And so do the Bucks, and that's why he's back on the roster, and that's why I like this move. Uh, I think these are two solid, possibly game-changing moves for them when it comes to debt. You get deeper without costing you so much money. They took the money that they could have gave, gave to Brogdon and got a couple of solid players with it. And now they still got their core of Giannis, Brooke Lopez, and, and Eric Bledsoe with Chris Middleton. And they still got a solid bitch to go right along with it. They still got the, the GM. They still got the coach. And now it's time to take another ride at it. I still think they can tinker with this roster a little bit more to make it a lot more better. But they can do that later in the season. They can do that later in free agency when people start taking bargain deals. And then they can load up on them. And then they'd be even better. And to me, that's where you want to be. If you can find a way to get better while still staying under luxury tax, while still being a competitive and one of the best teams in the NBA, which most teams can't do and most GMs can't do, then you're doing something right. And that's what the Bucks doing right now. Let me know. Do you think they overpaid? Do you think they needed George Hill? They didn't need George Hill. Do you think Robin Lopez was a steal for getting him for less than $10 million for two years? That's a bargain bin player right there um, for them. So, if you think these are good duels, let me know. Do you think that they, who they should get next? Should, what they should do with the rest of the roster? Do you like the roster? Do you think they make some good moves today? Or do you think they made a mistake staying together and keeping Eric Bledsoe instead of keeping Brogdon? But now they got Bledsoe and George Hill and Robin Lopez, and they still was able to acquire and keep Brooke Lopez and Chris Middleton. So this is a decision. It's not personal. It's just business. We only can pay and keep so many guys, and the guys that they kept was the most productive players and the guys that stay healthy the most of the season. Brogdon been having some injury trouble, so maybe that's the reason why they let him go too. And we will see how this team plays when the season starts. But I like the roster. I like the team, and I don't want to bet against Giannis. He has gotten better every season. I think this is after getting a heartbreaking loss and walking off the podium. I know that he's in the gym ready to come back and prove that he is the MVP and he's going to be proving that he can carry a team to a title. The only thing is it, we got to see it. And that's going to be the fun part of watching the season and watching the playoffs to see, can he carry this team to a title? Something that the Milwaukee Bucks haven't done in years. And what I mean years, 20 plus in that case. Let me know what you guys think. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Check out my website analysis playground.com link in the description conversation below thanks for everybody that likes on facebook thanks for everybody that likes the videos thanks for everybody that comments i like the activity that you guys have shown i answer comments that make sense if that makes sense and also at the end of the day if you like this video check out my older videos on my channel i have many playlists i break down rookies i break down players i break down summer league i do cover the draft and i got a mock draft up already not only that, I do podcasts and I also talk about the game of basketball, whether it comes to summer league, free agency, trade deadline, buyouts, and also I cover top 10 discussions and stuff like that. So you like this type of video, you like the NBA, check out my older videos and my playlists. I enjoy making these videos. You guys enjoy watching. I'm going.